Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alford, Florida, and today I want to take you on a tour of this 2006 Holiday Rambler Scepter that we have in. This is a 40 PDQ floor plan. It has less than 57,000 miles on it, and it's a really nice coach both inside and out. The outside is in fantastic condition. There's no checkering, no delamination, no peeling in the clear coat. Absolutely one of the most beautiful coats is on the outside we've had in a long time. The inside is nice as well. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour of this motorhome here on the inside. This is a 2006 Holiday Rambler Scepter. This is the 40 PDQ floor plan. So that's a 40 foot long four slide out floor plan. Uh, this one's powered by 400 horsepower Cummins. It rides on the Roadmaster chassis, which is my favorite chassis, uh, I think bar none. Uh, they are an excellent chassis. And uh, this one has uh, just under 57,000 miles on it. Um, so what we're going to do in this tour is I'm going to take you through the inside of the coach. I'm going to show you around the 40 PDQ floor plan so you can see how that's laid out. I'm um, also going to show you a few of the features that the Scepter has on it. And I'm also going to call out the condition that the coach is in. We do these uh, videos so that you can do uh, the shopping for a coach in the comfort of your own home. And the only way that we feel we can do that is if we uh, give you a very honest and and uh, an unbiased look at the coach. We're going to show you all of the good points that we see and we're also going to point out any flaws that we see along the way so you have a real accurate representation of the condition it's in. Uh, it's a really really nice coach. The outside is gorgeous. The inside is nice as well. Uh, it's not perfect. It's a 2006 model but it is in nice shape. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tour and we'll start up here in the front of the coach. Uh, we've got the cherry cabinetry throughout, which is my favorite uh, uh, color that, that Monaco and Holiday Rambler used were the cherry cabinetry. It's solid cherry, so the boxes as well as the doors are all solid hardwood. There's no press board to be found in these cabinets. Um, it's a really, really good quality cabinetry. One of the things that I really love about Monaco is the quality of their cabinetry. Uh, and Holiday Rambler is owned by the, was owned by the Monaco Coach Corporation, still is, but at, that t at this time uh, they were part of the Monaco family, so you see a lot of common DNA between the Holiday Rambler Scepter and uh, other Monaco uh, units like, uh, say, the Windsor is very close, I believe, to the Scepter. Um, so up here we've got a sharp flat screen television uh, as well as the, you know, the cherry uh, wood all around that is the original television, so this has not been retrofitted. Over here we have our electronics. We have a distribution uh, box up here for uh, the TV signal to go to the different televisions. Uh, we've got a Blu-ray disc player and we've also got a DISH satellite receiver in this one. It does have a rooftop satellite system on it. Um, over in here we've got more cabinetry. Coming down below we have our uh, our coach leveling system over here. So we've got um, full automatic leveling. Uh, we've got our Allison transmission controls right here. Uh, it's got the six-speed Allison transmission, of course, hooked to a 400 horsepower uh, Cummins diesel. Uh, got some more controls over here for uh, you can move the pedals in and out. You've also got your front window shade you can operate from there. Uh, one thing it's got is the smart wheel controls, uh, which are really nice. You've got the ability to control your windshield wipers and your lights and your cruise control directly from your steering wheel, which is a nice safety feature so you're not taking your eyes off the road to fumble around for random switches on the dash. You can do all those vital controls right here uh, on the steering wheel. Over here we have our um, our monitor. This is going to have your backup monitor as well as the monitoring system for your Aladdin uh, coach control. You've got in the Aladdin system, you're going to be able to uh, use it for trip computer type functions as well as uh, other uh, diagnostic features through the coach. It's a really nice system. I'm not going to get into all the inner workings of the Aladdin in this video, but uh, you've got a little joystick right here that allows you to 
up uh, to go into different uh, parameters and you can see all of your uh, engine information, your miles per gallon, things like that. Uh, over here is your generator controls, your stereo down here, your air conditioning controls here, and some more switches like your radio, step cover, battery boost, and things like that. Uh, both the captain's chairs are in nice shape up here. The seating surfaces as well as the back are in perfect condition. The armrests look uh, like they are in um, pretty much perfect condition as well. There is a little bit of a wear right here and a little bit of wear right here. So there's two little areas, one on each chair, where there's a, a bit of a wear mark uh, on either one of these. These are an ultra leather fabric, um, so they're like a, uh, a real soft, um, it's not, I don't want to say imitation leather because that's selling ultra leather short. It's actually softer and I think even more durable than real leather. Uh, it's a really nice quality product. Coming over here to uh, the living area, right here we've got a magic bed. Uh, a magic bed is sort of like a jackknife, but when you operate the bed, you flip some cushions over and you end up with a completely flat sleeping area. So you've got that really nice sleeping area right here. All of this is in fantastic condition. There is, I uh, don't see any flaws uh, on that. Uh, see one little one little spot right here on the back side of this cushion. Uh, coming on over to the other side, we have another sofa over here, and this one is a full sleeper sofa with an air mattress. So you've got the ability very easily to sleep uh, two here and at least one over on this side on the magic bed, possibly two over there. Uh, I would say two adults comfortably here and one adult over here comfortably. You could go easily three to four kids up here. So great family coach. Uh, a lot of times these diesel pushers are not really set up uh, for a lot of sleeping area. And this one is an exception to that. You got plenty of room for a whole family to go camping uh, and uh, without really uh, uh, any inconvenience whatsoever. Uh, you've got your day-night pleated shades throughout the whole coach. This one is in really, really great condition. Over on this side, uh, this one as well is in uh, nice condition. A couple of random little little spots on that. They're kind of hard to clean, so if a little spot gets on them, uh, it, it tends to kind of stay there. Uh, I will mention that back here on the dinette one, this light filtering side is virtually perfect. Perfect. On the room darkening side, there are uh, several more spots. Now, I have not tried to clean these, but um, they might clean up uh, fine, but I just haven't tried it. But it is uh, got a little bit more uh, uh, wear marks on that. You can tell a bit more wear and tear on that line than the other ones around it. Um, so it's not in perfect condition. Uh, all of the sleep, uh, sitting area here is beautiful. You've got uh, Corian countertops here. You've got your tabletop, and, and this pulls out to extend out to have um, uh, adequate seating for four. There should be two more chairs, either in the back closet or in the bay, I believe. So we'll check that as we go through. Uh, we have tile through the majority of the traffic area in the coach all the way from the front door all the way back through here in the kitchen you've got tile don't see any cracks in the tile whatsoever um, the carpet there is carpet on either side a little bit on this side and, and some on this side there is some wear and tear on the carpet um, not so much frays rips anything like that just normal wear and tear a uh, little bit of, of color fading in a couple of spots and just uh, from use uh, um, it's just starting to show its age a little bit. I'm going to say it's a 7 probably on the 10 scale. Uh, probably a fresh shampoo on it will uh, bring it up pretty nice, um, but it's not in perfect condition. So I uh, just want to point that out. You can always ask us for a detailed picture package if you're interested in uh, maybe coming to see the coach, but you're some distance away. Nothing substitutes for getting your, your eyes on the coach directly and being able to walk through the coach and feel it, uh, so to speak, but we will send you a detailed picture package with probably on a coach like this, maybe 150 pictures of all the surfaces. If there's a flaw 
on that front seat or there's a spot on that blind, you're going to get a picture, maybe multiple pictures of that, just so that you are fully aware of any flaws that we see before you come uh, here to the coach to see it. Uh, in six years of being here at this location, we have yet to have a situation where a person flew in from out of state or from out of town specifically to come in to look at one of our coaches to pick it up, let's say we've already arranged a buy, and them to come in and say, this just isn't what you said, this isn't just going to work for us, it's just not, not in the condition you said it was. We are very particular about how we represent the coaches, and you will get an accurate representation of the cosmetics on this coach before you come to look at it. So, uh, don't want to make it sound like the coach is not in nice condition, it is in very nice condition, I'm just pointing out the flaws as we go, so that you know any of them that we see. Uh, over here, we've got a nice pull-out um, work area here, uh, a little bit more workstation as well as an area for canned goods, small boxes, things like that. So that's a nice little addition to the cabinetry here. Of course, that's all solid cherry. We've got more of the, the solid surface countertop up here. I believe it's Corian brand. Um, that goes also into the backsplash. So you can see this is a got a design etched into the surface of the Corian back there, but this is very easy to take care of and it's in fantastic condition. Got some storage there, a little bit more above the microwave. This is a convection microwave, so it will bake as well as microwave. Right here beneath these covers are a two burner recessed cooktop. It's an Amana cooktop. It looks like it's almost never been used. Um, it certainly wasn't used much if it was used because the caps here and even the little grids that the um, that the pots would sit on don't show any real scratches or anything. There's not a scratch I don't believe at all on this glass top that surrounds it. It is in almost brand new condition uh, I would say. So putting those covers back on. If we come on over here, we have the same sort of covers for our double bowl sink. And it is a molded uh, Corian style sink in here as well. It is in beautiful condition. There's no cracking in it. There's no uh, bad discoloration or scratches or anything like that. It's pretty much in almost like new condition as well. You got a nice nickel finish, pull out faucet there, filtered drinking water here. You got plenty of under cabinet lighting uh, with this fluorescent fixture here. We got plenty of cabinetry up here, more cabinetry over here, and a beautiful little nook right here which would be great for uh, you know a place to lay things when you're cleaning or a decorative area. You could use that for whatever you might want to do. Right here's a fantastic vent control for the fantastic vent that's right here. There is one little cover missing for the on off button right there. It still works just fine. I'm operating it right now but it uh, is just missing the little membrane cover on there. Uh, got a couple of light switches right here for lights. Over here we have a full residential refrigerator and um, it's in just like new condition. Um, I, I don't know what year this was uh, put in. I don't believe this is the original uh, refrigerator, uh, but it is in practically brand new condition, all stainless steel. Uh, I will do want to point out uh, a small flaw. There is a slight discoloration of the wood at the bottom here uh, where this cherry is at. It's not rotten, soft. There's nothing wrong with the floor here. I also don't believe that it was a leak around the slide out really. There's not any evidence down here of any leak around there. I think it may have had something to do with the with the refrigerator. Possibly an ice maker line or something maybe leaked at some point. It is purely cosmetic uh, and it is it is not major um, but I do want to point that out um, that there is a discoloration along the bottom right there. Right here is what I call the brains of a coach. Uh, it's kind of the central control hub for the house controls. You've got your, your control for both your rooftop airs. You've got um, 
level monitors right here. You can turn on your generator, your system heat, water pump, water heaters, slide out controls. This is your engine, uh, your power management system uh, right here, and this is your magnum inverter controller. Uh, so you got a lot of nice uh, controls all in one place right there. Now coming back on into the middle section of the coach, we're in the master bath or the bathroom area. You got a mirrored medicine cabinet right there, a solid surface counter uh, beneath that uh, with a vanity. You've got drawers here and storage beneath that. And we've got a shower in here. It's all in really great shape. Uh, some just minim minimal, normal uh, type use uh, on some of the fixtures in here. This has been replaced because it's in cr it's chrome and it's in really nice condition. But there's slight bits of evidence of use in there, but not abuse. Uh, it's not in bad condition. It just shows some use. Uh, the floor of the shower is in great condition. The Up here at the skylight, it looks like it has never leaked or anything like that. It's in perfect condition up there. Um, Coming around here, we have our washer-dryer combo right here in a nice convenient location in the bathroom. So you've got that right there. Got storage up above that. In here is the water closet and you do have, I'm going to have the cameraman come on around because you do have a uh, second sink in there and an extra vanity. So you've got a kind of basically almost a his and hers area to get ready in the morning. You've got your, your uh, china toilet here with a foot flush. Uh, everything in here is in very nice condition. There's no, no damage or flaws that I see at all in there. All the cabinetry is beautiful. No evidence of any leaks or anything like that. I'll close that door and we'll come on back here to the bedroom. We've got a queen bed uh, going this direction in one slide and then another slide out over here on the other side. So uh, you got the, the queen bed here with plenty of storage up above. You've got a nice cherry headboard which is, is really, really beautiful. Um, then right back here we've got our um, We've got our breakers. We've got some fuses here and a piece of trim that's uh, in there for some reason. And a couple of drawers right there. Over here, there's the other two, those other two uh, dinette chairs. And they've got a place to hang uh, your uh, ironing board there. And over here we have even more cabinetry. That's a nice big cabinet right there with more hanging storage. So plenty of storage in this floor plan. It's a great floor plan for long stays or even full timing. It's just a really popular Monaco floor plan, the 40 PDQ. More drawers here. A bank of drawers here. Look at the size of that one. That is about a foot and a half deep, I would say. Great place to put comforters or things like that. Uh, all these are nice big oversized drawers. Do have the original television back here. It has not been changed to a flat screen. It's in really nice condition. Works just fine, but it's not a uh, LED flat screen or LCD flat screen. We have uh, storage up above, storage down below and some drawers there. Uh, carpet back here is about the same uh, as in the front. Uh, it's not in bad shape, uh, just shows some wear and tear. And there is a, another area where there is some, some water staining here as well. Again, I don't think it came from the slide, trying to figure out where it came from. Don't think it came from the slide. I think maybe in this case it might have been the washer dryer or something. Um, want to point it out because it's there. There's no damage done, no soft spots on the floor or anything like that, no rot or anything. Uh, but those, those, uh, this and that front area by far are the most, uh, uh, the worst things on the coach, I would say. Uh, and those aren't all that bad, purely cosmetic. Um, but again, we want to point it out because it's not a perfect coach. It is 10 years old. We want you to know all the great spots and all the flaws. Overall, the interior is a beautiful interior. The colors are very nice. The cabinetry is in beautiful condition. No evidence of leaks in the ceiling or anything like that. That's basically the inside of the coach. Let's go ahead and continue our tour on the outside. 
Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this uh, 2006 Holiday Rambler Scepter here on the outside. We'll start right up here at the front and recently the front end protective bra has been removed so the paint is in virtually perfect condition. Uh, the mask came off clean. Uh, I am not a fan of the clear protective film whatsoever. Uh, down here in Florida we have to remove it more times than not. The cost of the removal plus the cost of the installation in my opinion you can just do a little bit of paint touch up every five or six years and be ahead of the ball game plus it's easier to keep regular paint clean in my opinion. But anyway this is virtually perfect condition. Uh, there's a little nick right here, a little nick down here, uh, but other than that, I mean, basically looks like a brand new coach on the front. Uh, the front windshield looks to be in great shape. I don't see any cracks or stars or anything like that uh, on the windshield. Our Mirrors are in perfect condition, which is something we don't see so often. Uh, all of the arms are great. This base down here has no corrosion on it. Uh, the chrome is just in gorgeous shape. Looking all the way down the side of the coach, as I mentioned in the initial intro, it's one of the nicest that we've had in in a while on the outside. Um, there's no checkering in the fiberglass, which is an issue you have to look for in, in all coaches to some degree, but uh, Monaco's in uh, mid-2000s had some issues on some of their coaches. This one's perfect. I don't see any checkering whatsoever. No problems with clear coats. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful paint. Um, all the sidewalls are good and straight, no delamination or anything like that. A uh, couple of little flaws here and there on the inside of the coach, but the outside is a different story in that regard. Almost nothing to point out out here. So uh, let's go ahead and just continue our walk around. Uh, front wheel is in great shape, really nicely polished up, no corrosion or anything like that on it. Uh, our awnings are in great shape. We got a big, huge power awning here as well as a power awning over the entry door. Um, in 2005, Monaco coaches went to side opening bay doors, so this being a 2006, it's, six, it's got the side opening doors, so you can see your LP gas tank in here as well as your diesel tank. Both of those span the whole width of the coach, so that way the weight is evenly distributed between the driver and passenger side of the of the motorhome. Uh, one of those details that, that uh, Monaco pays attention to is stuff like that. So uh, it's in great shape, that LP tank, no rust or anything like that. Same with the diesel tank, it's in beautiful condition. Back here you can see uh, the fresh water holding tank so you can get a visual reading of how much fresh water you've got on in that. Uh, let me close that back. Back behind that we've got a bay uh, with full pass-through storage and a nice uh, joey tray or slide-out tray that comes out. Uh, pretty much a full extension and it's a full pass-through so this tray will go through uh, on the other side as well. This one has a full pass-through storage as well and also a, a, a slide-out tray on in this bay also. There's a couple of little minute chips light in this area. One here, here. Uh, little rock chips uh, is what they are. There's one up here I didn't point out, uh, but that's the extent of it. I probably could spend about 15 minutes uh, and, a, and a little thing of touch-up paint go around it and it would look uh, virtually perfect. This is so minimal compared to most 2006 coaches. I, I really think that it's in the top five or ten percent of all coaches uh, you're going to see in a 2006 as far as the outside condition. It's just in fantastic shape and any damage on the outside or wear and tear is limited to things like little rock chips, things that you cannot avoid. Unless you're really good at dodging bugs and dodging rocks, you're, you're going to get that with normal driving. So um, it's just uh, very few of those to point out. Uh, like if you see this little mark right here, this is just something on 
the paint needs to be wiped off. That is not a scratch. So uh, we already looked at that bay. Coming back here, we have a little storage bay right here. It's not full pass through. Another little storage bay right here that goes pretty far back in there, uh, but because of some uh, tanks or something here, we're not able to access the full part of that. Right here is your furnace, the arms for your big uh, awning, the back bedroom slide out. This is the part that would house the television and the uh, cabinetry. Uh, the back wheel is in great condition as well. Uh, these are 2012 date codes back here on the back. Uh, it is uh, 06 of 2012. I uh, forgot to check on the front. Let me check it really quickly. These are 36th week of 14 on the front. So basically all of our tires are in pretty good shape date-wise. These are, uh, that one is locked up, but in here is, is your, your shutoffs for your chassis and your house batteries, as well as some of the relays and wiring and stuff like that. Coming on back to the back of the coach. This is a Roadmaster S series chassis. Part of the S, what S stands for is side radiator. So that's one of those features that you want to look for in true luxury coaches. It's one of the things that I believe separates a midline diesel coach from a luxury diesel coach. Is um, On the outside, I believe it's side radiators. That's what you need to look for. On the inside, I think it's one of the things you need to look for is, is solid wood cabinetry throughout and no press board. And this has both. So this is solidly in the luxury uh, type camp. Look at uh, just how clean it is back here. Um, the 400 horsepower Cummins is just in beautiful condition back here. There's no grease or buildup or, or grime or wet oil or anything like that. It's just in beautiful shape back here. Closing that back. Back here where you would normally see some scratches and things like that from hitching up a uh, car and things, it's, there's just nothing back here. Uh, tiniest of little chip right here, a minute little scratch there, and that is about it. I mean, it's virtually in uh, about perfect condition back here. You've got your aluminum ladder that goes up to the roof. Uh, if you see, it's hinged right here, so this will fold up out of the way so you can swing this door further open than I had it a moment ago. Coming around to the to the driver's side of the coach, right here is your power cord reel that's inside this little door right here. So you can just touch a button and it will uh, it will retract it for you when it's pulled out. Uh, here's the bed slide that that houses the queen bed. Coming uh, up forward of that, we're going to have our wet bay right here. Uh, Everything's in place here. It does have the, I believe it has the macerator system on it, um, the sani flush. This looks like it may just have the standard, uh, it just has the standard uh, sewer hose hookup available, and you do have the macerator style right here. Uh, I don't uh, we can check this and make sure it is, it is operating, but what we've found, I'm not a huge fan personally of these. i found that most people tend to go just to using the standard sewer drain. If you're not sure, uh, not familiar with the Santa Flush system, it just has a macerator pump which chops up the waste and allows it to pump through a smaller hose. I prefer just the standard old sewer hose. I just think it works better. I don't really see the big plus in the SantaCon system, but some people love them. But uh, like I said, in most cases we find that people use the standard sewer hose, but we do have that equipped on this. So you also have a black tank flush right here, as well as an outdoor tank monitor. Right here is your hot water heater. Right here is the, the uh, other side of that rear uh, full pass through storage bay. Then we're going to have the other full pass through storage bay right here. Right here, you're going to have the other side of that tank, that freshwater tank. And then this is also going to be the other side of your LP gas tank and your diesel. And you can fuel fill from either side. So you can pull into either side of the pump and you can access that, uh, that tank. Uh, all of the tires and wheels are in great shape. There's no weather checking, no corrosion on any of the wheels. Uh, this door is locked right now, but what's inside of here is fuses and relays and things like that. Uh, it's a very impressive um, 
compartment. Uh, Monaco does a really great job of organizing all of those uh, switches. Maybe we'll drop in a picture during this video. So right now as I'm talking about it, you may be looking at a picture of this bay, but they do a really great job of organizing that. Right here we also have our turn signal cameras. If I didn't mention that earlier, you do have three cameras on this, a rear camera and two side cameras. Uh, so your monitor on the dash is, is, is playing uh, quadruple duty. It's uh, showing you out, uh, the view out the rear in some cases, out either side in other cases, and then also your Aladdin Junior system is going to be uh, viewable through that screen as well. So that's pretty much the uh, inside and outside tour of this 2006 Holiday Rambler Scepter. If you have any other questions, please feel free to call us here at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone will be glad to help you. Uh, Cy is my salesman here, and he would be he would love to talk to you about this coach. He's my point man on this. And uh, so give us a call if you have any questions. You can also uh, connect with us on our Facebook page, our Highway RV Facebook page. Um, as well as if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button and set your notifications and you will be able to get a notification every time we film a new video. We haven't had the videos coming as quickly lately, mainly because we've been very, very busy and we've uh, uh, sales have not allowed me to have enough time to film these videos, so I apologize. But normally we film these videos very regularly. You'll get a notification every time we film a video. So uh, connect with us in that way. Way as well and you can always visit us online at our website which is www.highwayrv.com I hope this video has been helpful to you in making a decision as to whether or not this scepter might be the right coach for you and we certainly appreciate you taking the time to watch it um, you have a great day and God bless